Hey everyone and welcome to this brand new AWS course. In this course, I will teach you Amazon Web Services or AWS Cloud right from the beginning. So you don't need any prior knowledge or prerequisites to start this course. Now this is going to be a complete playlist for the AWS Cloud and I will be uploading series of videos explaining every AWS service with hands-on practice. So make sure you follow this playlist till the end. This is the first video of the playlist where I'm going to explain what can you expect from this course, what services are we going to learn, what are different projects that we are going to do and why you should do this course. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. But if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to CloudChamp and like this video. Let's go. So why should you learn AWS? If I tell you my story, I started learning AWS when I was in my college and learning AWS has completely changed my life. I got my first internship as a DevOps engineer because of AWS certification. And now I work as a DevOps freelancer full time using my AWS skills. In fact, my first freelancing gig was also on AWS. So learning AWS will help you get your job or promotions. You can learn new skills or maybe you can start a freelancing career like me. Now the question is, why should you learn AWS from this playlist? Because this playlist is hands-on focused. I believe you learn things only when you do it. So we are going to be learning AWS services, doing it on the console, and I will request you to follow along with me. So watch me while doing it and also do it in your AWS account. Next, I will be giving you real world examples. I have been doing AWS and DevOps since four years, and I have worked on multiple projects. So while we come across different AWS services, I will be providing you with real world examples to help you understand how you will be using that service in your job. Throughout this playlist, we will be doing projects. I will provide you with notes and different resources that can help you learn things more easily. And lastly, I will teach you in a way where you will say AWS is easy. So now that you know why you should be learning AWS from this playlist, let's see what are the different services you will learn from this playlist. Here is the rough AWS course outline to help you understand what you can expect from this AWS playlist. So I have this PDF created which includes all the services we are going to be covering in this playlist. And in case you want this course outline, let me know in the comment section. Comment down AWS course and I will share this course outline as a PDF on LinkedIn or in the video description. You can also expect similar kind of notes for every service that we will be doing in this playlist. So I will be sharing your notes as well. Now let me explain in this course outline. So to learn AWS Cloud, we will start with understanding what is cloud computing. We will look at different types of clouds, different cloud models, and all of that in the first video to help you get started with the cloud. In order to learn AWS cloud, we will start with learning what is cloud computing. We will look at different types of clouds, what are different cloud models in this particular domain. Moving on, we will then set up an AWS cloud for you because you cannot learn AWS cloud without actually doing things on the AWS account. So you will need to have an AWS account for yourself and I will show you how to create an AWS free tier account in this video. Once you have an AWS account created, we will then go ahead with understanding the AWS global infrastructure. Why do you need this? Because when you start with a project, you first need to choose the region where you want to deploy this project. So you need to understand what are regions, what are availability zones, what is edge location. So the AWS global infrastructure will be explained in this particular video. Moving on, once you understand what are regions and EZs, we will start with our first service, which is IAM or Identity and Access Management. In this video, I will explain how you will use IAM in your DevOps workflows, how to create IAM users, how to create roles, what are permissions, how do you attach them, and everything hands on in this video. Once you understand IAM, we are going to be going ahead with learning what is AWS CLI and how do you use it. So AWS CLI stands for AWS Command Line Interface Tool. And I will show you how to use AWS CLI, what things you can do with AWS CLI, how do you connect your AWS account with your terminal on your command line interface, how to create access keys, everything hands-on in this domain. I will also show you what is AWS SDKs and how can you use programming languages like Python, JavaScript, etc., to create services in AWS using AWS SDKs. You will also be using AWS CLI for your DevOps tools like Terraform, Jenkins, uh, GitLab, everything. So you need to understand how to create AWS keys and how to connect them with your AWS account. So this is what I will be teaching you in this particular video. 
All of these videos are going to be focused on DevOps and I will be sharing you my experiences throughout the playlist. So make sure you follow them completely till the end. Moving on, once you understand this, we are going to be learning a very popular AWS tool or AWS service, which is EC2, Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud. In this service, you create servers. So I will show you how do you create Linux servers, indoor servers, Mac servers, how do you connect with them, and also how do you install different databases, web servers, popular DevOps tools like Jenkins, Prometheus, Grafana, all these EC2 instances. I will also be explaining you different EC2 features, or also what is security group, what is elastic IPs, all of them in this particular demo. Once you do this video, you will have no doubts, no questions on EC2. So this is what we are covering in this particular module. Moving on, we will understand what is high availability and scalability, also known as elasticity in the cloud. So we will learn the concept of high availability, elasticity, why do we need it, what benefits do we get, and while doing that, we will also learn elastic load balancing service, which is a load balancers in the cloud, and also auto scaling group, which lets you create servers automatically depending on particular conditions. So this is what we are going to be covering in this high availability and elasticity module. Once you understand this, we will move on with learning the storage service in the cloud, which is Amazon S3. Amazon S3 stands for simple storage service, and we use it to store all kinds of data, which could be PDF, uh, images, songs, anything. We also use S3 to store our Terraform remote state backend. So in this module, I will show you hands-on on how to create S3 buckets, how do you manage access to your S3 buckets, how do you set up S3 starting website hosting, version of all different features about S3. One other thing to note, while we do this sessions or while we do this videos, I will be giving you tips or questions that might appear in your certification. So these videos or this playlist can help you learn AWS, can also help you get AWS certifications, and help also help you get freelancing jobs. So now, once we cover S3, we are going to be moving on with learning VPC or networking in the cloud. This is very, very important, because when you deploy S3 buckets or EC2 instances, you need to select which VPC do you want to launch this EC2 instance in. What should be the satellite? So you need to know networking in the cloud, and I will explain you everything. You don't need to have any prior knowledge. I will be explaining you IP addresses, I will, I will be explaining our silo ranges, uh, what are VPC, how do you create them, what is sublet, how do you create them, what are route tables, what is internet gateway, NAT gateway, everything is going to be explained in this particular module. Moving on, we are going to be learning about databases in the cloud. So we are going to be starting with RDS, which is relational databases. So if you want to create MySQL database or PostgreSQL or Oracle databases, we will be using RDS for that. So I will show you hands on on how to create RDS. How is RDS different from EC2? Uh, how do you create a database and connect to it to start storing your data inside? And I will also show you how do you use IOM rules to connect EC2 instances with RDS databases. Moving on, the next database service that we are going to learn is DynamoDB. So this is RDS is SQL or structured query language, whereas DynamoDB is non-structured query language or no SQL database. So DynamoDB is very, very popular and it is used by many big companies to store their data. And I'm going to show you how to use DynamoDB, how do you create databases, tables in DynamoDB. Next, we will be learning about Kubernetes, a very, very popular service or popular tool right now in the domain, in the DevOps domain. So I will tell you what is EKS, how do you create an EKS cluster, how do you deploy your applications. But if you are completely new, I can also explain you what are containers, what are Docker, what is Docker. And if you want me to, Explain you all these videos from scratch, you can let me know in the comment section. If you have any issues, any qu queries, any requests, uh, put down them in your in the comment section. Moving on, once you understand EKS and how do you create a cluster, we will be looking at another DevOps principle, which is IAC, or Infrastructure as Code, using CloudFormation. So similar to Terraform, AWS has their own IAC tool, which is CloudFormation. And using CloudFormation, you can create AWS services through the code rather than using console or CLI. So I will tell you how to use CloudFormation and how can you create services using CloudFormation in this module here. But if you want videos on Terraform, let me know in the comment section. I can also create a playlist similar to AWS for Terraform, for Docker, Kubernetes, but only if you want it. And if you want it, let me know in the comment section. So moving on, after CloudFormation, I'm going to teach you CI-CD in AWS. So CI-CD again is a very important thing that every DevOps engineer should know and AWS has services for it. So we will be learning about code commit, code deploy, 
code pipeline. Moving on, we will learn security management in AWS using AWS Secrets Manager, which is used to store your database credential, API keys, all your secure data is stored inside AWS Secrets Manager. Also, AWS KMS or Key Management System, which is used for encryption. You can use KMS to encrypt your RDS databases, your EBS volumes, S3 buckets. Uh, so I will also show you how to do that in this module here. Next thing we're going to learn is going to be monitoring, logging, and cost management. This is very, very important for every DevOps engineer to know how to monitor your applications, how to check logs, how to manage costs. And we are going to do that using Amazon CloudWatch, which is a monitoring service in AWS. CloudTrain, which is going to track user activity. So let's say someone has deleted a server. You can check which user has deleted it using CloudTrain. You can also manage cost using cost management services in AWS and also using AWS budgets. So I will explain all of that inside this module here. This is a very rough overview. We are going to be adding more services or more things inside this course outline. But this is only for you to get an idea of what can you expect in this uh, particular AWS course. If you want me to cover any other service, you can also let me know in the comment section. Moving on, we are going to be learning about serverless, a very popular architecture pattern which we use to create applications. So in serverless, we are going to be learning about Lambda, API Gateway, also DynamoDB, which we have already covered. So Lambda API Gateway and also a project on how you can use Lambda and API Gateway to create a serverless application. And lastly, we are going to be adding more services and for it, as I have told you in this course outline. But here is the very rough overview of what, what you can expect. As I said, if you want me to cover any particular service, you can let me know. Uh, make sure you follow this playlist till the end. And I will see you in the next video to learn what is cloud computing.